Kaunay pa rin sa Sex for Flight scandal, mga kapanayam natin ngayong umaga si Secretary Rosalinda Baldos ng Department of Labor and Employment. Maganda umaga, Secretary Baldos. Maganda umaga at uh, magandang umaga din sa inyong taga sa Baybay. Kagaling nyo lang sa trip sa Europe, no? Uh, yes. So, karating nyo lang and uh, habang wala kayo, may puputok dito na mga issue kaugnay ng mga labor officials and yes. personnel. So, But uh, I am on top while uh, there kasi regular naman na reporting and I am able to issue regular press statement on the uh, status and progress of the cases. So, kailan yung unang nalaman na maaring may ganitong klaseng sexploitation practices sa mga Uh, foreign posts natin. Nung lumabas yung unang uh, news about Jordan and Kuwait, I think that's June uh, 12. Ito yung nilabas ni Congressman Bellio. Yes, and I immediately I ordered the constitution of an investigating committee the day after mm -hmm. June 13. But that was the first time you had heard about any of yes, this? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, kasi yung sinasabi po ni Congressman Bellio, medyo matagal na itong nangyayari. I mean, Sinasabi pa nga niya, yung mga ibang accused, uh, binigyan pa nga niya, in-identify pa nga niya, eh, uh, mula po nung uh, mga previous posts, uh, eh, may mga naririnig na raw ng mga reklamo. But this is the first time you're hearing about this. Yes, because uh, we, we, we work through uh, complaints that reach us, especially in writing, because uh, uh, these are accusations against uh, government officials and they are entitled to know who are the complainants and what are the specific acts being complained about because that is part naman ng due process and uh, they will be able to reply or uh, also come out with their own answer. So kung wala namang nakakarating sa amin na ganung ka, uh, linaw na mga complaint at walang lumilitaw na complainant, then uh, hindi naman madaling i-entertain mo yon. Uh, because, as I said, the respondent has to confront the complainant, including the evidences that they will present as part of the due process. Okay, but uh, in the absence of these formal complaints by victims, wala rin kayong naririnig na kahit mga rumors na may mga shenanigans na maaring nangyayari sa mga OFW shelters overseas? Wala yung ganong parang sort ng parang kwento-kwento but uh, on specific cases na talagang nakakam out naman yung complainant then we act uh, very promptly and uh, immediately we investigate. Kasi doon sa press con ni Congressman Bellio, uh, he was quite detailed no? in describing some of these practices. May mga location, may mga oras. He was giving amounts that uh, yes. customers, supposed customers of the supposed uh, sex rings uh, were paying. Uh, kaya, very detailed information okay. that he gave. But that's it. Nga, wala pang formal uh, complaint. Kaya the I uh, appreciated na, uh, his coming out with those uh, statements of concern. Uh, dahil apektado ang ating OFWs, karamihan ay babae. But at the same time, hinihingi ko naman yung suporta na kung meron naman talagang complainant na accessible sa kanya, uh, sana maging accessible din dahil meron naman investigation committee na kinireate na kami. Okay, so you created, ma'am, an investigative uh, committee. Ito ba yung uh, pupunta ngayon sa Middle East para ituloy yung probe doon? Yes, uh, I think they'll be leaving towards uh, itong weekend na and uh, despite the fact na wala namang lumalabas pang complainant sa Jordan at saka sa Kuwait na incident, they will still proceed uh, from Riyadh. Uunahin muna namin yung Riyadh kasi so far may tatlong complainants na nag-come out na dito sa, uh, dito sa na Riyadh sa case, dito sa dito Pilipinas. Pilipinas. Oh, oh. Oh, and Their statement, uh, statements have been uh, submitted already sa investigating committee. Antonio Villapuerte, I think, will be arriving tomorrow afternoon. And he's the assistant labor attache yes, who was named. Yes, he's the personnel being complained about. Itong ng, ng, tatlo. Itong tatlo. Uh, na okay. So immediately, I instructed na uh, i-recall siya so that he can face the investigation and... Uh, He is scheduled, as I said, to arrive, I think, tomorrow uh, late in the afternoon. 
I was talking to him on the phone yesterday morning to check whether he has gotten the exit clearance and also the ticket. And he said, uh, yes, ma'am, I will be able to uh, take the flight going to Manila and will be arriving there ng mga past 5 o'clock yata, p.m. Mm. And then, paano ba to? Uh, th th These are very delicate matters, no? And essentially, ang mangyayari dito is he said, she said, no? Uh, of course, may, may mga narinig na tayo mga denials uh, ng mga allegation. Uh, of course, uh, may mga accusations naman yung uh, alleged uh, victims. Uh, how does, how does usually, uh, a, a uh, finding committee actually weigh the evidence in this kind of case? Usually, yun nga. Based on this statement, I have not, uh, I, I have not, uh, I have no access to the statements of the complainants. Um, and uh, they are giving they gave it directly to the investigating committee i would like to think that they also mentioned some names there other than antonio who could uh, shed light and uh, there could be other wards in the filipino workers resource center na maaring kasama nila of course other labor officials or even embassy official under the one country team approach who might uh, have some uh, knowledge or information uh, that would enable the investigating committee to gain more uh, uh, understanding of the case, including, of course, the labor attaché, who is the head of the Philippine Overseas Labor Office, uh, because he's supposed to oversee the operations of the uh, polo and uh, and we expect that if they have some knowledge about these things or they don't have any knowledge about these things, they should be able to form part of the uh, uh, investigation that will be conducted. Uh, so we hope that there could be, kung walang direct evidence, uh, then the, mga ano yan, circumstantial evidence ang uh, importante para magkaroon ka ng... If they can finish going to Riyadh and uh, Kuwait and Jordan within a week and they could be back as early uh, right after, then siguro uh, they can immediately make an uh, assessment of the case and if they need to conduct some hearings. Hopefully, we can give them another month to complete the review of the documentary evidence and if there is a need to conduct pa ng hearing, then siguro yung one month uh, uh, reasonable na yun. And after that, they will submit their uh, report and recommendations to me. I think in the case of Hong Kong, uh, Hong Kong naman kasi isang complainant lang ang uh, Inimbestiga nila sa Hong Kong. So, hindi masyadong natagalan sila doon. And we, we were very fast in uh, making uh, the decision on the case na subjected naman to congressional investigation. Because even before there was an investigation at the Dole, may congressional committee hearing na ipinatawag na so, sinubaybayan naman nila yung progress ng investigation dun sa Hong Kong case. And after I promulgated the decision, we submitted a copy to them at uh, uh, naging maayos naman. So, we hope that uh, we could do no less in terms of past tracking the investigation in this case. si Congressman uh, Bellio po ay uh, umaamin na wala rin siyang uh, nakausap na mga biktima, no? Ang mga na, na nag sa kanya tungkol practices na -observe nila, nila, no? So, kakausapin niyo rin ba itong mga sources, yes. sources ni uh, Congressman Bellio? Uh, will you ask uh, Congressman Bellio to give you the names of some of After these Dole uh, officials who have press, been... Yeah, sa press statement ko, talaga nag-appeal na rin ako na uh, yung all-out support niya dito sa investigation para nga ma-ferret out ang gusto naman natin lumabas yung totoo kung may dapat man na, panagutan sagutan ng dapat managutan kung wala naman, syempre 
ripe naman na malinis din yung kanilang mga pangalan. So, lahat ng pwedeng suporta na uh, maibibigay niya, I already said na uh, we'll, we'll welcome very much and we appreciate very much yung kanya magiging support. Yeah. Um, ano klaseng screening ba yung nagaganap uh, sa mga labor personnel bago sila i-assign sa mga iba't ibang posts? Uh, tinitinan ba yung mga records Oo. nila sa ibang lugar? Lahat ng clearances ipinapa-require natin. In, in the case of Villa Puerta, 28 years na, na siya in Nasa the service sa Dole. Iba't ibang position, I think he started as an administrative assistant in charge sa supplies. And then uh, he went to the Bureau of Labor Relations. He is a conciliator of the National Conciliation and Mediation Board. He was once assigned in uh, Taichung for two years as administrative. Sa Taiwan. Uh, oh, oh. And then ito nga ang post Malinis naman ang record niya. This is the first time may narinig kayo mga ganitong accusations? Mm, based sa mga clearance na naisubmit at sa record sa Dole, wala namang ganong uh, klaseng record ito siya. Ito si Mario Antonio naman po ay uh, supposedly, according to Congressman Bellio, ay may mga reports na mula nung naka-assign siya sa Beirut at Tokyo and then in-assign pa rin daw siya dito sa Middle East, sa Jordan. Ano? So sinasabi si... nga niya na parang eh bakit nung may mga reports uh, na noon, eh nilagay pa siya doon sa sensitive post kung saan marami siyang interactions with uh, female OFWs. Okay. Si Mario actually is a personnel ng OWA. Uh, and uh, as far as I know, when uh, he was recommended for deployment, posibleng tama si uh, Congressman Bello na may maraming naririnig uh, about yung uh, sinasabing mga ginagawa niya. But, uh, I would think that para baka wala naman doon talagang official record about all any possible misbehavior or misconduct niya. But, uh, this will now be scrutinized. So, they passed through a screening process and uh, including psychological tests. Uh, before they are deployed. And as I said, all uh, clearances required from any public officials who uh, would uh, want to be posted or applying for a position, lahat naman yun na-comply. Okay, lahat itong uh, pinag-uusapan natin mga individuals, uh, mga, mga lalaking labor personnel to mm -hmm. interacting with a lot of supposedly distressed female OFWs. Um, I'm sure there are people thinking, well, that's a no-brainer. Bakit hindi nalang babaeng labor officials or personnel yung i-assign sa mga ganyang klaseng uh, interaction or assignment kung saan eh, marami silang malaking responsibilidad nila sa mga female OFWs. Kasi yun naman ang karamihan yata yung uh, napupunta, nagpupunta sa mga OFW shelters, di ba? Da, talagang nga uh, ang... Uh... Head ng ating ano, uh, Filipino Workers Resource Center, usually ang ina-assign talaga, babae. No? Uh, for one reason or another, si Tony, I think, is being tough because of his background naman sa conciliation, mm -hmm. sa pag-handle ng case. Pero yung managing the center, usually mga babae yon Mga babae talaga? Yes, yung day-to-day, -day, Yung day-to-day -day operations, ng, ano. uh, the ones who talk But to them But for a specific day. case handling, mm -hmm. I would like to think that the labor attache, head of the polo, uh, tap him because of his uh, previous work experience as a uh, labor conciliator. Mm -hmm. So aside from these individual cases, are you thinking of maybe some changes in the system and yes. reforms in the system para at least uh, uh, maiwasan na itong mga ganitong uh, we'll accusations. We'll see to it that uh, hindi lang babae yung nagmamanage ng center, baka pati yung case officer ay uh, uh, mga babae na rin ang assign natin para maiwasan yung yun nga, itong ganitong insidente. Okay. Sige po. Maraming salamat po, uh, Dole Secretary Rosalinda Baldos. Maraming salamat din sa inyo. Thank you for sharing. God bless. Thank you.